Hello, good morning, beta. So today we are going to go ahead and practice some of the questions that can be asked in RBI Deper Phase 1 exam. Take a look at the first question, beta. You are given, consider consumption is 85 and B is given to you as 0 0.9 and I is given to you as 55. Now, it says where B is sensitivity of consumption to income money, it is telling B is how consumption changes as income changes. Change in consumption due to change in income. So, what will be B beta? marginal propensity to consume. So, here is the only trick hai, that they have not given what uh, the consumption function is but they have given you marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.9. So, I can write my consumption function as C bar plus Cy. So, I am going to go ahead and consider C bar as 85 and small c as 0 0.9 y and this will be my consumption function beta right now let us go ahead and look at investment bache investment is given to me as 55 so what is going to be my y y will be c plus i this is going to be 85 plus 0 0.9 y plus 55 so, if I just try to solve this, I am going to go ahead and get uh, 9 plus 5, 14 plus 0 0.9y. This will be y. So, my y, y minus 0.9y will be 140. 0.1y will be 140. So, y star beta, it will be 140 divided by 0 0.1, that means 1400. So, we will see here in this case that our y star is 1400 beta. So, correct answer to this question will be C. Okay, come to the next question. It says, consider the following goods market and money market equation. Two equations are given to you. The equilibrium level of interest rate will be. So, the first important thing is, can you tell me which equation represents the IS curve and which equation represents the LM curve beta? Of course. So, when we see that there is inverse relationship between income and interest rate, clearly that equation is the IS curve beta. And when we see a positive relationship between income and interest rate, clearly that equation is the LM curve beta. So, yes, you are correct that the first equation will be the IS curve and second equation will be the LM curve. So, but now how do we equilibrium? How do we find equilibrium? We find equilibrium by equating the goods market equation to the money market equation. Money by equating the IS curve to the LM curve. So, what will I get beta? 350 minus 1000R is equal to 200 plus 500 R. So, let's try to solve this. So, 350 minus 200 will be 500 R plus 1000 R. Yeah. So, what will I go ahead and what will I get from here beta? 150 is equal to 1500 R. So, R will be 150 divided by 1500. And beta, if I have to convert this in percentage, to kya kar sakte? Multiply by 100. So, if I just multiply this by 100, I will get the answer as 10%. So, R in this case would be 10%. The correct answer to this question will be D. Okay, beta, come to the next question. It says, consider total revenue function. Yeah, TR function diya hua hai. Find the marginal revenue when Q is equal to 3. Very, very simple question, bache. Try to look here. So, total revenue function is 12Q minus Q square. So, what will be marginal revenue beta? How total revenue changes as output changes? Differentiate karo, you will get 12 minus 2Q. You want to evaluate this when Q is 3. So, when Q is 3, marginal revenue will become 12 minus 2 into 3. 12 minus 6, that means 6. So, the marginal revenue will be 6 beta. So, what will be the correct answer to this question? C. Okay. 
ओके बेटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट से यू आर गिवन दैट दिस इज द डिमांड फंक्शन देखो डिमांड फंक्शन पढ़ो इट से फाइंड आउट वेन विल इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड बी इलास्टिक वेन विल इट बी इलास्टिक तो इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड वेन इज इट इलास्टिक बेटा वेन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड एंड एप्सल्यूट टर्म्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन और इन जनरल टर्म्स वेन इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड इज लेस देन वन तो इसको बोल देते हैं हम इलास्टिक डिमांड लेस देन वन माने वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री माइनस फोर माइनस टेन लेस देन सॉरी लेस देन माइनस वन तो इट विल बी इलास्टिक ठीक है ओके ना वॉट इज योर इक्वेशन डिमांड इक्वेशन क्या की मैंने बेटा Q is equal to 500 minus 10 to. So let's write this down. Q is equal to 500 minus 10 p. What will be elasticity of demand, beta? How quantity changes as price changes in into initial price by initial quantity. So if I differentiate Q with respect to p, I will get minus 10. And p by Q dQ by dP. This is going to be what will be your p p को ऐसे ही रहने देते हैं. What will be q? Five hundred minus ten p into minus ten. So what will you go ahead and what will you get better? Minus ten p upon five hundred minus ten p. And this is going to be I can take ten common minus p upon fifty minus p. Now when is it elastic, beta? क्या definition बताया मैंने आपको elastic का? When is this elastic? When elasticity of demand is less than minus one, so minus p upon fifty minus p less than minus one, minus p less than minus fifty plus p minus two p less than minus fifty. Divide कर दो p greater than twenty five. But whenever you change the sign, जैसे यहाँ negative है ना, if I have to convert this to positive, तो ये sign revert होता है. So if my price is greater than twenty five, my elasticity will be elastic. So answer will be A. Clear? Okay, beta. Come to the next question. Consider the demand function. आपको यहाँ पे एक demand function दिया हुआ है. The price elasticity of demand is. तो ये तो solve करने का भी जरूरत नहीं, beta. This is constant. कांस्टेंट इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड फंक्शन इसका इलास्टिसिटी क्या होता है द पावर लेट मी जस्ट प्रूव दिस आल्सो टू यू तो क्या कर सकते हैं इन दिस केस लेट अस ट्राई टू गो अहेड एंड फाइंड डीक्यू बाय डीपी बेटा सो दिस विल बी पावर कम्स डाउन पावर रिड्यूसेस बाय 1 ठीक है एंड देन इलास्टिसिटी का फार्मूला क्या है p बाय q dq बाय dp दिस इज द फार्मूला ऑफ इलास्टिसिटी सो p बाय व्हाट इज q बेटा A p to the power minus b and into dQ by dP A into minus b p to the power minus b minus one, right? So when base is same, power gets added, beta. So when you will add the this is power is one, this is minus b minus one. So this will give you p to the power minus b A minus b upon A p to the power Minus d. Okay. Now, what is interesting to be noted is that this and this will cancel out, bache. So you will be left up with minus d. So what is going to be the elasticity of demand? Minus d. Answer will be a. Clear? Okay, beta. Come to the next question. This is you are given marginal revenue curve as this. Sixty minus two q minus two q square, and you need to go ahead and find the demand function. क्या निकालने हैं आपको बेटा? You need to find the demand function. तो देखो, demand function is nothing but it is asking you to find the AR curve equation. बेटा, AR curve is nothing but total revenue by quantity. AR is only called as price. ठीक है? And total revenue is nothing but integration of marginal revenue, है ना? तो marginal revenue is what? Sixty minus two q minus two q square. So sixty minus two q minus two q square d q. Integrate this. What will you get? Sixty q minus two. Integration of q will be q square by two minus two. 
integration of q square will be q cube by 3, right? So you will get 60 q minus q square minus 2 by 3 q cube. Right? This will be your total revenue beta. What will be your average revenue? Total revenue divided by quantity 60 minus q minus 2 by 3 q square. This is nothing but your price. So this will be your demand function. 60 minus q minus 2 by 3 q square. That means A. This will be the right answer to this question. Right? Okay. So by this, so with this we end this session. I hope you found the session to be useful. Slowly I will increase the level of these questions. Comparatively these were easier questions. So you will have a mix of easy and difficult question in your final exam. Okay, beta. Thank you.